Hi everyone. In this video we're going to be talking about making sure that your money or currency fields in FileMaker actually look like money or currency fields if you put them into a text field. Now I covered the basics about formatting for currency in one of our Pro 4 video courses and this is a continuation of that conversation. So first off we've been working on our new version of FM Starting Point and we ran into a situation where we had a minor uh, enhancement or upgrade and what we were doing was that we were in invoices and uh, we had this uh, really gnarly uh, invoice which was over a million bucks and of course this is all test data but we had is that if we sent a copy of this invoice out as a PDF attached to an email we wanted to log that information into the contact record for the attached contact so if we go to scripts, uh, we can look in here and take a look at the uh, email and invoice form, right? And so we have this whole script that goes on and does exporting and attaching a PDF and all that. We get down to the very bottom here, and what we do is we do two things. One, we set a little flag that turns on a little green indicator that tells us that the email was sent. But the other thing is we do is that we go, we log this event running script 1142. And what's interesting about this script is that I told my staff to just basically take the dollar amount of the invoice and the date and the invoice number and then log it to the contact record over here. And so we, what we end up getting, I'm going to scroll down here, is this was of course the first one we got and I said no we need the dollar amount in there too and so they end up running this script where we end up writing this variable right here and this variable contains the invoice amount, the dollar amount, it contains all this information. And what we ended up getting was something that looked like this. And this was done by one of my junior staff who has been working for me for about a year. And they didn't think much of it, they figured it was good enough. And of course for some people this might be good enough, but this is frequently what happens when you take a number field and you write it into a text field. In this case, we wrote it into a text field that has a bunch of other text in it. But remember, down deep in the FileMaker platform, there's no difference between a number field, which is a number, and a number field, which is money. The formatting for money is something that's handled purely at the display level or at the layout rendering level. It's tacked on the screen visually for your personal satisfaction, but down deep in the system, there is no currency or commas or any of that kind of stuff. It's purely a number. In fact, the script that he wrote, he actually did include the dollar sign in the script. Otherwise, it would have looked just like this, which would have been really uh, disheartening. And on top of that, if it didn't have any change, say the invoice was exactly zero, zero, then FileMaker would have actually written it like that, which would have been uh, really crazy because you wouldn't know if this is an invoice number or a dollar amount, right? Kind of nuts. So what do we do about this? Well, once again, we have to fundamentally understand that a number for currency is just a number. And you can't really go to a text field like this and say, I want to take this text field and I want to go over to my inspector and go to data and then go down here and adjust the formatting for currency. You can't adjust a text field for currency. It just doesn't make sense. Plus, on top of it, it wouldn't make sense because it wouldn't know what to do with the rest of this, right? So when we set the number into the text field, at that time, we must format that number properly with the currency that we want. And you're like, well, what do you mean? Well, I mean that we need to find out if there's change there. Do we want to display the change, the money, you know, the percentage of a full unit, right? That means percentage of a euro or percentage of a dollar or whatever. And then on top of that, formatting at least in the United States, we put a comma here and we would also put a comma over here. And then we would put the currency. So you could put pounds or dollars or whatever you wanted to do. And so you have to write a calculation that says, well, if it's over a thousand, then put this here. Then if it's over, you know, uh, 999,000, then put a comma and then you have a million bucks and then you could have commas above that. Now I've written that calculation before many years ago. It's truly a pain in the rear end. So what we want to do instead is we fire up our trusty browser and we visit Brian Dunning's custom function website. 
and so we click here and this is a online uh, catalog directory it's a very simple thing but it's almost become a complete fan favorite for people finding custom functions what is a custom function well a custom function does some sort of calculation for us it's already written this is a library of pre-written uh, blocks of code that are going to make our lives easier so I'm going to search on currency because I've done this already and I know what the results are and there's probably several of the currency functions here that would work great I use this one right here from Tony Danvesky at high voltage and I'm not sure when this was submitted by him but this works really really well and of course you know this code could have bugs in it or whatever but I set it up I tested it and it seemed to work pretty good and so the idea is that we have to put this custom function into our database so I've done that already with FM starting point 4.6 or later so if you're using a newer version it'll be in there in order to add or edit a custom function you have to be using FileMaker Pro Advanced so this is FileMaker Pro Advanced and you go to file down to manage over to custom functions and there's a number of custom functions we use in here for a number of different reasons from mapping and GPS to XML we have videos that we talk about XML um, extraction and things like that audit logs all that kind of stuff so we added this currency function right here and I called it currency as text and I gave it a slightly different name and so I created this I simply go to our handy dandy website and you copy this entire block of code in here then you have to add these parameters up here across the top so we see amount code lead trail show decimal and red negative and these are all parameters that the developer of the custom function decided that they wanted to be input to make this function work code is not an allowed word so I used currency code and I changed it so as you can see right here I used a slightly different name right here and that's because this custom function was written a while back and then somewhere along the line the word code became a reserved word in the FileMaker library so you can't use the word code by itself it's just not something that's allowed so I didn't want to reverse engineer and all this all I know is that if I plug it in and, and fired it up it seemed to work and so the way we use it now it's really cool so I'm gonna bring up our script and I'm gonna show you what we did to make this work it's pretty straightforward it's pretty simple and that is what we had here originally was this and this of course takes the number value the strict internal number in FileMaker and it dumps it into the text field and then we get that so what we did instead is we leverage a custom function so we drop this in here and we say the total and then we say currency is text then we put the dollar amount right and then we substitute in the elements right it's pretty cool so if I put the currency as text down here just so you can see it when you type it up it gives you a little clues about what goes in there so I put in the uh, field with the number of the dollar amount right there I decide that we don't need anything for the currency code you can read up on that but that has to do if you were gonna say US dollars or Canadian dollars or something like that we leave that blank we say that we have a lead currency and that's the lead currency some currencies have the the currency mark on the trailing side of the number so you can say well there is no leading mark you could put a trailing mark over here so that's what the trail is and then we could say the number of decimals a show um, you could always have it just uh, chop them off uh, but in our case we wanted to show the decimals and then if you have a negative number sometimes in accounting you'll see negative numbers represented with a red color to the font and so I simply turn that on here I think a zero turns it off the instructions for this are contained in the custom function so you can see what is accepted and what's not it's all in there now if you're using FileMaker Pro you can still leverage this custom function and you can call it however you cannot edit it or delete it or add new custom functions that's one of the benefits of buying FileMaker Pro Advanced so if you're not using FileMaker Pro Advanced keep in mind that you cannot edit add or delete custom functions but you can still use them here in script so this is totally legal so the fact that we put this in FM starting point for you means you can use it anywhere else any of those custom functions in here you can leverage in fact right here if you want to see what's going on with the functions this is the function list click here and you can see all the custom functions that we have set up that we're using I can drag this over here so you get a little bit more of an idea pretty handy so there you go that's how you take 
a number field that's actually some sort of currency and you drop that into a text field and you format it in an appropriate fashion that your users will expect.